Okay, here we have the uh, Rotten Dog, the MPU-327, all-in-one board, basically. It does a number of games, systems three through seven. I bought this around 2014, somewhere around there or after. Um, but for my blackout, it was aged. I didn't. I would just want to get away from the 40-pin connector and batteries and stuff like that. And I like newer technology when I'm going to keep something and just want, want it bulletproof. And so I bought it, installed it as per instructions, and it worked fantastic. I mean, I was stoked. Um, later, I got a firepower. Started The firepower started acting up, so I uh, did the dip switches to match firepower, wherever it's at. Anyway, switched it, put it in the game, in the firepower, and it just didn't work as... Um, it didn't make any difference, basically. So put the dip switches back put it back in my blackout and um, everything was fine except for I had zero displays. All displays were out and um, I reached out to somebody uh, who had knowledge of these boards and they said the 6821s may have been blown, one of them or something like that. There's one, two, three, four, and a fifth one. I think this is it. I swapped them all just for fun. They weren't terribly expensive and made no difference. I still didn't have displays. So then I did some more research, dug in, and um, one guy had said that the um, this J, what is this, 1J2 connector up here at the top, it's uh, pinned the same as the one over here. Um, what is this, 1J6. And if you cross them, you can send power to this chip here. The uh, it's a, I bought a replacement here, but it's a, what does that say, a 74HCT154N. Um, and that the voltages would come and destroy this chip. So that's what I'm on to now. I'm gonna put a socket in, and then I'm, I've got the chip right here, the brand new chip. Um, these aren't socketed, they're all put into the um, onto the circuit board. So hopefully there's, let's see, got really faint lettering. I don't know if you can see the, you need special lighting or black light or something. Anyway, hoping this gets my uh, displays on blackout back together, and I can play me some blackout, so. Check back, see what happens. Okay, back with the uh, new socket and chip installed. That's, uh, I have the board flipped upside down. Um, um, everything went well. It was extremely challenging. I was low on, so um, what do you call it, flux. And so I ended up using a Dremel. Let me show you, it's kind of embarrassing, but uh, um, that's it. I buzzed the legs off on the top side and then it was easier to, re to remove the um, the legs that were through the board. Um, you gotta have flux when you do that, in, in my experience. So I'm um, gonna test it out. One other thing uh, I forgot to mention is, let's flip the board around. Oh boy, it's heavy. All right, so there's the, the all-in-one um, Rotten Dog 327. And it takes place of the original CPU at the top and the uh, driver board at the bottom. And where they, or they call it MPU or whatever. And they, they join with right here in the middle with the 40 pin connector, uh, the original. And that's why this is, so, I'm, in my opinion, superior. But what I forgot to mention yesterday when I was um, um, discussing what I was gonna do, my uh, plan of attack, I forgot to say, you know, we have this this connector up here and this one over here that are similar, similarly pinned. Um, another thing I forgot to say is I, I did not remove, I forgot to remove in firepower, um, the bracket or, or whatever it's called that goes across between the two original boards. Um, there's a top one, I believe, a center one, and a bottom one. You remove the middle one because if you don't, it could short something on the back side and, and cause it grief. And I forgot to do that on firepower. And that might be the reason why I lost the, uh, the chip up here. So, um, either that or somehow, I don't know if there's enough slack where they could be swapped. I don't know, but just got to mention that, make sure that that bar, if you ever use this board, the center brace is gone. Okay, I have the repaired board put back in blackout. Um, I verified that the wires are all in the proper positions. Um, I really don't see how this connector could have been traded with that one. So um, there is a dot I put on there with a Sharpie to just, if I ever pull it apart, just to remind me that, hey, take a quick look and um, verify that everything's good. But the way the wires are routed, it, I don't see how I could have done that. I really think it was a fact that there was the bracket still left in uh, firepower. Um, see, cause there's this top bracket here 
and then there's I think a similar one here in the middle and then you have these two side ones that we're actually utilizing for this board um the rotten dog replacement so uh next video we'll we'll do a smoke for, uh, smoke test well here we are we're back with the uh, blackout all put together with the repaired board in and um we're gonna do the smoke test we're gonna throw power to it and see if it uh thumbs up or thumbs down um, one other thing I did not mention, also I'm a master of forgetfulness, uh, the, the two brackets that I use, the left and the right, there's um, three mounting holes on each side. I bend the tabs of the center one in because they're awful close to touching the back side of the uh, mill connectors. I just use the four corners, two top, two bottom, and uh, and like I said, I bend, the, um, bend those little center tabs backwards so there's absolutely no chance of grounding one of those pins. All right. No further ado, whack a do, whack a do. We're gonna throw some power to it. Pray no smoke. Well, looky there. Woo! Check her out. Displays everywhere looking good. Looking good. Let's see if we can throw some uh, credit on her. Blackout is back, baby. Well, thanks for sticking with me, checking her out, and um, hopefully if uh, you ever run into some situation with you losing your displays, um, this may be of some sort of help in the future. Thanks for swinging by Steve-O's Game Room with this uh, little repair here. Have a great day. Catch you all on the flip side.